Hi guys and thanks for watching. In this video I want to uh, show you a program called Malware Bytes. Essentially what it does is it uh, prevents your computer from having uh, you know just malware in the background, Trojans, crap like that. Last night I uh, had an issue with one of my other computers that I didn't have this on and I decided I was going to go ahead and load it. Uh, and when I did I ended up finding uh, I want to say it found like 16 files and once I cleaned it up everything was groovy but uh, last week somebody registered a domain name under my GoDaddy account and they were able to get into my account and they would have needed my password and I'll tell you I am a very very stickler on uh, passwords it would not have been guessed period but uh, evidently that you know that led me to believe I should check all of my computers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you how to download Malwarebytes and uh, we we'll get that from Malwarebytes.org uh, if you google uh, Malwarebytes that's what you're going to find so we go to the website Malwarebytes and it says taking a bite out of malware you can read all, all up on this but I already have so I'm not going to take up your time doing that so I'm going to click free download right here and this is going to take you to uh, some other spot. Uh, last time it wasn't tech spot, but uh, I know for for a fact that uh, this is malwarebytes.org. So whenever it's from one of our trusted partners, it's usually uh, uh, CNET or somebody like that. I don't know, but anyway, yeah, we're going to go ahead and look here, and we're going to make sure that we're not clicking some ad or something. And this is. Uh, the download for malware bytes doesn't appear to be much on this page in the way of freaky link, links. Sometimes you'll go to a website and it says download now and it's not really the thing you want to download but here it looks like it is so we're gonna go ahead and click the download button give it a minute to figure out what it wants to do All right start download free software converter free download now I don't know if we want that real-time protection okay let's let's read this and see what it is okay MBAM setup yes I, I know for a fact that that's it so you're looking for that MBAM dash setup and then this number is going to switch around dot exe so we're going to go ahead and download that and if I'm not mistaken let's see let me just put this in a temporary file that I have because I don't really want to hang on to it too long so okay if I'm not mistaken this is like a uh, yeah it's not a real big download it's 9.7 9 uh, there was another thing that I downloaded which is a vast and that was like a hundred and some so that was going to take a few minutes but anyway this is going to roll right along here and then once we're done with this we're going to go ahead and execute the file now I'm using Firefox so if you're using Chrome or whatever just do whatever is needed in your uh, browser to open this up so in my case I just right click this open and uh, it's going to say do I want to run this file publisher malware bytes corporation uh, and it gives me a warning about running executables and then it's going to give me that so I'm just going to go ahead and accept and yeah select language is going to be English mm, click to continue I'm going to accept the agreement uh, please read the following information new features etc where do I want it uh, installed I'll just pick the default. Uh, do I want to create a start menu folder? Actually, I, I do want to be able to access this from my start menu. Uh, start button. Anyway, uh, create a desktop icon, a quick launch icon. I'm going to go ahead and take those because it's pretty important to have this at the ready because as soon as you run into a problem, you want to run this thing as soon as you run into a problem. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and see what what I have checked here. Enable free trial. Uh, update malware bytes anti-malware. Launch anti-malware. Okay, so we can go ahead and do that. 
in the meantime I can probably I'm going to just minimize these windows and see what Malwarebytes is going to do now. Uh, Malwarebytes, the database is outdated by 100 days. Please click here to update now. Yes, we're going to go ahead and update Malwarebytes and get the latest information on the latest threats that are out there. And uh, this essentially what it does is it scans your entire computer and it determines if, if there's any files on there that exist or any websites for example on my other computer my other computer was trying to uh, contact an IP address and it kept on doing that and all throughout the scan I kept on getting a little bubble from right down here that said uh, Malwarebytes has blocked this and it's blocked that and it's blocked the other when it finally ran its course and I removed the 16 bad files it told me to reboot I rebooted and it was no longer blocking anything because that was gone so this is an excellent program to have and I'm going to uh, let this run the install if I have to I'll edit some of this out I don't want to make it a really long video but I do want to show you all the steps that are necessary so anyway uh, if you're using Firefox then you've probably gone through exactly what I went through there and let's see what this is telling me database was successfully updated from version whatever and it's telling me this twice for some reason uh, it was successfully updated okay now the first thing that we want to do is perform a quick scan because a quick scan is going to run a whole lot quicker than a full scan full scan is something you want to do when you uh, go to bed at night or something and you just because I'm telling you that takes hours so anyway we're gonna have performs quick scan and we're gonna scan now at this point this may take quite a bit of time and if it does what I'm gonna do is I'll just cut that part of the video out and come back with the objects deleted in fact that's probably what I'm gonna do right now anyway so I will see you when I have scanned my computer okay the scan has uh, done, run its course and it popped up a little log of what it did in uh, notepad so if I close this I can see that uh, fortunately for me on this computer at least there were no infections here I can't say the same for my other computer it was just crawling with stuff but anyway you do want to run this and you want to run it pretty off often I will leave a link to the uh, uh, to malware bytes in the description okay I'm gonna I'm gonna have to just say that that's okay but anyway uh, yeah you can look through the logs and you can see what it did and you can uh, run the scanner you can perform a full scan a deep scan and a flash scan uh, and while the flash scan is only available to licensed users they do have a pay, pay system that gives you a little bit more but this is the free malware bytes and uh, you just I mean to not have something like this on your computer is kinda of like going motocross without a helmet it's it's really a good idea to do so anyway that's how simple it is and then you can scan your computer make sure that you don't have malware also it offers a bit of a firewall protection there are other free protection uh, programs out there and I will get into those in this series and if you can if you uh, look in the antivirus series uh, you'll see anything else that I've reviewed on that well thank you very much for watching please comment rate subscribe and I hope this video has helped you and if it has I would love to see a thumbs up thank you very much and have a great day